Good morning, friends and fellow witches. Now, I think our... Ooh, what do we have here? Okay, I guess I should just keep making essence of stuff. And then we'll... Uh, what can we make here? Uh, no, I think we won't make that. Sure, I'll make some more essence of copper. There we go. Got a charm potion made. Um, so we needed to bring now this levitation potion. Um, what do I have right now? Okay, so I do have several of them. So I've got a variety of things. Um, some in small things, right? I should probably make some enchantment speed boost. There we go. Uh, what do I have? Okay, let's do one of those. Uh, do I have a freeze time? I do. I could be using that. Uh, summon night, I don't need as much. Uh, we, hopefully we're going to start learning these other things. So in terms of what I want to get, you know, roasting up here. Um, sure, we'll take, we'll make one of those. I don't really know. But I need to give that to them, I believe. But I'm not sure entirely <laughs> what, uh, see, is, is there anything? What is that? Okay, that's got a little ways to go. Um, yeah, I'm not uh, I'm not sure what we're supposed to do with that yet. That's nice. Uh, do we have... No, I gotta... I'm gonna need more seeds, too. Oh my gosh. Oh, no. You. Okay, and then we were doing well on our... That's five hours left, five hours left, and... I need to get some more materials. Okay. Yeah, things were uh, coming along. Definitely a little bit uh, more thoroughly. Do feel like we kind of hit a point where things start boogieing quite a bit. Um, in terms of what who everybody is and stuff, we had a good couple of reveals last time. Uh, I'm still not sure on a lot of things. I, I get. I feel like that's pretty intentional. That it's. It seems a little you know vague. I've got to keep you on your toes. If it was too obvious, it wouldn't be as interesting. Uh, and it was suggested too. I can buy ingredients on the um, uh, over in the mysterious island area. Oh, I, oh, okay. I shoot my sheep. Huh? Poor sheepy. I'm so sorry. The indignity. Sheep's now more comfortable. It's interesting. I wonder in the uh, like the argument made for a lot of shearing I've read in in recent times is that. Uh, depending on the variety, this is the other thing I said. I mean, there's so many kinds of sheep. Um, some varieties get rather mangy, and they'll get, you know, um, whatever bugs. I don't remember what they're called. And uh, that that's the necessity for shearing them. At least I remember when I was a kid, and we'd help out with sheep shearing. That would be one of the ideas. Uh, but that's a weird thing to me. Like, if a sheep is <laughs> capable of existing without being sheared, how do they how do they exist? How do they manage to like continue surviving <laughs> through time? <laughs> I don't know. I wonder about that. It's like were sheep just different? So is it that uh, part of the problem is that some of the modern varieties have actually been bred? I don't know. Um anyway, that's a uh, food for thought. I was I've always <laughs> find that one weird in games. You still liked that, didn't you, kitty? Oh, oh my gosh. How are you doing here? Okay, so I have the option to give her this thing. Ah. So that new rancher's kind of cute, right? Of course, he's not really my type in that he's gainfully employed and appears mentally stable. But hey, why not try something new? Okay, now the the person used the word. Um, yeah, I also don't know. Do I need to give him this thing during the day? Are you sure this is the acolyte witch? I'll have to make another These potion and explain myself. Which if I thought I'm wrong. was super weird. Um, and then they were all, there was something else they did. I don't recall. Did I, um, yeah, okay, let's try this. Say, that's nice. Most perfumes are too girly for me, but this one's different somehow. I'm going to draw in the gents like moths to a flame. Watch out, fellas. <laughs> Oops, that is not the Acolyte Witch. I'll have to try someone else. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I've just charmed her. 
Good job, self. Good job. That's, uh, we're, we're causing havoc in town now. So, yeah, I'm trying to think of who would use the word dingus. That was a weird one. Let's, uh, check this stuff before we head in. Oh, that's three hours. Okay. Okay, I have one more mandrake there, so we'll make another one. Like, the they were, they were very casual in the way they talked. So um, I think I had been left thinking maybe Violet, but I was like, who? Who would say Dingus? That seemed like a weird thing. That lemonade stand is cute, but it also seems like it's bringing Lena and Parker together more often. Not to be a gossip, but they don't spend that much time with each other, do they? Yeah, so um, that was the other kind of then thought was uh, Lena would seem to be somebody who would say dingus. Of course, she's not around. My mom was a pharmacist before she retired. Pharmacist? Bartender? It's the same thing, really. Just mixing things up to make people feel better. All right. Oh, look at us good friends. Let's head over into the forest here, because that's where Lena would be hanging out. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's a female. Um, I don't think Parker's known for saying dingus. <laughs> so we'll go give this a try, I think. Oh good, we got another mandrake, so I can always make another one if I fail here. Am I sure this... Hmm... I don't think you meant to give this Ooh. to me. Oops, that is not the act. Okay. Don't forget to stop by Parker's shop if you need anything for your farm. He can build you a chicken coop or a barn. Interesting. Huh. What do you got for sale here, Shelby? Okay, let's uh, buy one of those. Buy his supply there. I could have talked to him. <laughs> I might me just being anxious to get uh, go find other people to get this wrong with. So uh, I tried the two obvious ones that I thought I had a plausible chance. So now we're like, who uses language like that? Have you met the new rancher yet? He is the cutest little baby chicks. Finn accidentally let them out of their cage. But we caught them all before he noticed. So an acolyte, um, you know, I'm thinking what, like, in terms of the, uh, the definition of an acolyte. Is that just so, somebody who's started? what happened to your friends back in the city, huh? You gonna go visit them this summer? A lot of them moved away before I did. It's expensive living in the city. Expensive? It's friggin' criminal. I've looked up the rent costs. Let's try Am her. I sure no, this... I'm not sure. Here you go. Violet. Yes! <laughs> you figured it out. What gave me away? Now you talk. you're really one of us. I know it's a bit intimidating being the newest member, but I can already tell you're going to do great. Okay. There we go. See, I, that's one of those ones I really... I, I mean, we kind of thought before it was a possibility. Um, yeah, I should have really guessed the language. What's going on? I wish my parents were still spry enough to make the trip out to Fairhaven. They'd love to see how Fairhaven has changed since I was a teenager. That's when we stopped spending summer vacation here. Okay, so she spent her time here as a child. So she's been around. She knows a few things. She knows where all the, the bodies are buried, proverbially. proverbially. Um, what time is it? It's 3.30 p.m. I don't have time to do too much. Let's go check the... Sure, and then maybe we'll head over to the coven. Uh, Marty, what's up? So, are you staying on now? If you're selling the farm, I might know an interested buyer. <sighs> Too soon? Yep, I would say so. Yeah, uh, if, can we gift him, uh, I guess, a fist in the face? Like, I don't, I'm not sure what we're... 
I think we're into non-violence, but uh, I'm not sure about that. I think we might make an exception. I feel like Dara would definitely make an exception. Okay, let's get um, nothing up there. Anything good down here, though? I'll go say hi to Thomas. That's always good. Thomas. No, not fishing, Thomas. Sophia is an inspiration. She spent so much time captain in the summer festival this year. That's all you're inspired by? Her work ethic? I see what you're trying to do. Well, I'm not answering. All right, casual friend. Let's go and throw our uh, fertilizer stuff together here. Oh, I'm just below the 4,000. Isn't that what I needed to get that field? I feel like that was. have a... Uh... No. Okay, I don't have the ability to make that any... Oh. What do I have here now? I've got uh... 33 soil. What did I need? 40? Uh, did I use some for something? I don't even know. Alright. <laughs> Just gonna run with it. Yeah, we're all good. Do I have anything to sell? No, we don't have any more fish sticks, I don't think. I didn't see any ridiculous quantities of stuff for sale. Yeah, we'll just we'll just go ahead. We'll assume we're good. Got to sell a few things though. To do that next time, we'll, we'll uh, Thursday would have been a good day to sell stuff, but we'll see what else is happening there. The kid's on his phone, staying in the rain. That's that's distraction for sure. Like what? Who? Who now? Uh, is it 7 o'clock they show up? Yeah, it would appear. Okay, well, let's throw some stuff in here before everybody arrives. Just chuck a bag of mushrooms in there. Okay, and then just act casual like, oh, I was just, I was just sitting here on this bench. Look, everybody's whipping in on their brooms. Nice. Near the standing stones. Our coven has kind of a bad history with them. Hmm. You have done well and proven yourself worthy of our trust. We have to be careful, as there are those that would do us harm. Why? The coven doesn't hurt anyone. The word witch conjures up old stereotypes and superstitions in people's minds. They might panic when faced with something they don't understand. That's why we keep our identities a secret. Our friends and family might not accept us if they knew the truth. I didn't know my grandma was a witch a few months ago. Really? You never even suspected that Hazel was a bit... Special? So, I think you suspect who I am. Write this speed up incantation. When you cast it, any crops or cauldrons nearby will grow or brew faster. Bring it to me in town when it's ready. Okay, I'll make it speedy. Get it. Run along, novice. Okay, so we gotta make a speed time incantation as part of our quest to unlock the High Priestess's identity. So we know it's a priestess, and we, she said, come to town. So, I mean, like, what do we have left, right? Not a lot. Not a lot. Is that it? That's it. Oh, that's bananas. That's cool. Let's go talk to her again here. Who are you really? Persist in your studies with a coven and you will know one day. It's gotta be Lena, right? It's gotta be Lena. <laughs> that would make the most sense. Uh, especially since she's always disappearing when she's hanging out here. I mean, uh, unless the town's just disappearing people, it's got to be Lena. So let's go make that thing. And then uh, we'll hit uh, the hay hopefully early-ish tonight and then... The Onsen is officially my favorite place in Fairhaven. Only one person allowed at a time or you're breaking the rules. It's perfect. There we go. Antisocial... Okay, so, uh, it's a request for flowers, request for 
Yeah, so I don't know how soon we're also going to have to push off away from summer here. Um, I get the feeling it's going to be not too long. How are we doing today? Oh, oh, Titan. Oh, okay, we chatted. We've already done that. Oh, I have mail. Dear Tara, I wanted to invite you to the grief support group that I run. Violet, Sebastian, and Juliet come sometimes, too. We all love to see you next meeting. It's very casual. Just bring something to eat or drink and let me know when you're ready. Sincerely, Vanessa. Um, where? I guess, I'm guessing... That's sweet. What should I bring? Maybe berry smoothies? Okay, there we go. So we got to uh, bring three of them. That's a pity I was giving those away. <laughs> That's not good. Oh good, I was able to continue making those. Alright, so we got the three berry smoothies. Okay, summon ice spell, speed time spell. What am I supposed to do? Speed time, okay. Oh, beautiful. Ah, uh, craft this incantation requires magic. This bar shows your current magic level and how much will be used. You can replenish your magic at the wellspring. Oh, do I not have enough? I see it's going to literally take all of my... Ah, interesting. Okay, well, let's get out there. It's nine. We got time. What is this, uh... Tell Vanessa we have something to bring to the grief group, but I, I, who knows what, when we can do that. But let's go chuck some stuff in the cauldron. I mean, I guess we can do that at any time as well. Um, yeah. I don't know if everybody else hangs out at the, uh, the community center or like the, uh, whatever. The, uh, the, the place in town. Okay, so we're, we filled this thing up. But we're like, you can't expand it, can you? No. So I wonder how we get to get more of a uh, a bar of uh, for our enchanting. One would presume you can expand it somewhat. Um, but I'm wondering if that's going to be from uh, just plot I'm guessing. It doesn't seem doing does anything, so no matter how much we do, I don't think we're going to unlock that. Oh, let's put some flowers here. Um, yeah, she would appreciate some moon flowers, sure. We have a few extra. I miss you, Grandma. Okay, so it's 11 o'clock, so I don't think we're going to be talking to anybody about the grief group, so let's get on back. Um, yeah, okay, so we'll go and, uh, get some sleep, and we can get things going next time. That's exciting. So, we'll have everybody unveiled, so that part will be done at least. Let's get some rest Should to keep I? going here. Okay, uh, yeah, I don't want to do anything anyway because I need my magical energy. Well, this one, does it have... no, it doesn't have honey, does it? Almost. And is everything here still watered up, basically? And then we need to just check on these things here. Um, yeah, I, I should also be checking on the, uh, if I can buy weeds or anything from anybody else. It's a thing I wouldn't even think of doing, but we really should be.
Oh, what a cutie. Alright. And here's our birds. How's it going, bird? Alright. Hopefully that butterfly is not attacking you. What are the birds like? Dude, over here, I need the food. Okay, we'll get that egg and the weed and... Uh, here we go. Say hi to the cat. Alright. And then... Uh, those are cooking and good. So that's three more. Um, yeah, then we'll need to sell a few things. So I'll have to figure that out. Okay, so now in terms of who are we going to try and give this incantation to? Uh, I'm going to guess it's... Remember when we used to run a lemonade stand in town and then spend our earnings on ice cream? Yes! Oh, I didn't even Whatever write the incantation, did I? ice cream parlor? Oh, the owner retired ages ago. Truth is, it's hard to run a business year-round here. Right, let's go do that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, kid. Because <laughs> I'm pretty... yeah. No, I didn't. Goofball. Uh, let's, yeah, get that. There we go. Okay. And then, so we would be up to 36 soil. So I also want to check with him on what we're going to need. Um, with Parker there. Uh, all right. Am I sure this is the High Priestess? I mean... Oh, wow. Well done. Thank you, novice. You should hold on to this, though. Wait. This really means... Shh. Someone might be listening. Yeah, like Cameron. But Lena, you're one of the most respected members in this community. I'm sure if you just told... They're not ready. Not yet. Okay. So we can permanently increase our magic bar. Yeah, well, let's use that. Like storms that make the river sing. Fill my magic from the spring. That's... There we go. So there, that answers that question as well. Hey, buddy, what's going on? Congratulations on being the Summertide Star. But remember that all prizes, awards, and attention are just a manifestation of how others feel, not how you feel. Huh. That was a hard lesson for me to learn. Yeah, we feel pretty good, so, you know, whatever, man. Uh, you give a... I've never understood people who say, nice weather, isn't it? All weather is nice. All right, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna come and we're gonna see uh, what exactly burger. Yeah, it was forty. Forty and two thousand. Oh, that's it. Okay. I've been working on a new roof for Amira's place. We can't have the roof cave in on the only person who could fix folks hurt by a roof cave in. <laughs> That is a very valid point. Okay, oh, we need to go talk to Vanessa. Is she in school right now? She would seem to be. Maybe we'll, we'll get more direction. She's not busy, so. Wonderful. I'm so glad you've decided to attend. Come by the Consciousness Center any night. Okay, so we gotta... I could have talked to her more. So, what did you think of my speech? Uh, it was great. I thought you would like it. 
So I think what I'm going to do is... Um, let's see here. Just thinking resource-wise, I mean, do we even need the golden things at this point? Um, I need like 24 gold bars. Um, yeah, I'm curious about the mining thing. Like, how do we get now to that other layer in the mines? That's an interesting one. Um, we need to learn some stuff. And, uh, okay, so... Yeah, we still have tons to open up here. Okay, so I want to go at night time. Whoop. <laughs> I just run into some shrubbery. My brain's all a flutter. There's too many possibilities now, isn't there? Okay, let's go visit everybody in their shops. Leslie, what's up? Welcome to my humble little shop. See? I really am a rare bookseller. Just, um, very rare books. I used to have fantasies about browsing books in stores like this. What kind of books are these? Many of them are incantation collections. There's some history of magic and magical theory mixed in too. Oh, and detective stories. I love a good detective story. Uh, by the way, the last time I was in town, Kai mentioned he'd sold you a mulberry seedling. Do you have any extra mulberries? I'll check. What are you making? Oh, just a incantation. That's not vague at all. It's for, uh... Well, I, uh, <clears throat> you see... It's okay. You don't have to tell me. As long as you're not making, I don't know, some magical bomb. I would never. I was joking. Mostly. Let me see about those mulberries. Okay, so we have those, so that's good. Here you are, Wesley. Enough mulberries for an entire pie. Ugh. <sighs> No, what I'm making is much more interesting. And what you're making is... Oh, fine. Okay, okay. I've been researching ways to lessen the effects of lycanthropy. That is, being a werewolf. I would prefer to be a little less, uh, werewolf-ish. But you have such lovely fur! That's kind of you. However, being a were-creature comes with plenty of downsides. One of the texts I read suggested that an incantation made with ink of the mulberry might help. I hope you get what you want. <sighs> Me too. Here, take this. Fair is fair. Okay. <sighs> Being a werewolf is so inconvenient sometimes. Do you know how many vests I've torn while transforming? How many? Several. So what does he sell here? Okay, so there we go. So, uh, we've got to sell... He sells parchments. I see. So if we sell him a bunch of stuff, we'll unlock... Summon small things longer, speed boost longer, summon wind spells. Some, okay, so it's just like existing spells, but similar. Um, okay, we'll sell him a couple of those. Um, Speed time. So what does speed time do? Oh, it doesn't say here. Uh, I, why would I... Yeah, okay, I can sell him. <laughs> speed time. Sounds like a, we're going to get into an advanced mode. Let's go to speed time. Oh, okay, shorten or crafting or growing time of items. Oh, that's very handy. Okay, now we've got arcane task, texts open. Sunny day spell. Summon a wind spell. Okay, and then we got to sell more. Uh, okay, so let's get some parchment. Actually, I feel like I'm probably gonna need more. We got like five parchment. Okay, so we got some new incantations. Cool. Um, to see what uh, she has over here. Are the humans staying clear of the Coven Circle? It isn't safe for them. If you see anyone who isn't a witch pass through the brambles, you must tell me, Witchling. Okay, so she sells mint and rose water. And she would buy potions. 
So she would buy... Uh, okay, I'll sell her one more. And, um... What, what does it open up? Oh, there we go. A car, a, I see. Interesting. Wow. So that these are potions I would have wanted. <laughs> okay, I'll sell her the levitation. And that opens up the ability to buy concentrated levitation. Oh, I can buy things that are out of season as well. Forget me not. Heather. Pine cone. Buy another toadstool. Yeah, buy it. Okay. I'm buying a ton of stuff I know I'm going to end up needing. That's the feeling I have. Uh, what's going on over here? Can you believe this? There is a shopkeeper in town whose sole job is to cut up and sell the flesh of animals. Who would take that job willingly? I don't understand. All right, we can buy his hair again. All right. And where's other buddy? Not sure. Let's uh, continue along this way then. Because they're usually down here. Oh, there we go. Amira's in here. Why, hello. It was you I saw by Thomas's farm, wasn't it? It sure was. And I really wish we could have chatted. But we're not supposed to show ourselves to new witches until the time is right. Lena says you're a talented witch. I'm raring to start on your broom. So you're the one who makes everyone's brooms? Oh, I don't make. I bond and balance them. Brooms are bonded to the witch, and they're often passed down family lines. You'll be using Hazel's old broom, but we gotta make sure it's balanced for you. <laughs> don't, don't want you sliding off the back in midair, whoa! No, we certainly don't want that. But using my grandma's broom, I think it's a really nice idea. Me too. I've got my Da Spanner, which belonged to his mob before him. You've already got the broom, but uh, I'll also need essence of silver and some levitation potion. Just uh, don't get that silver out round Wesley. It, it, it would be rude, you know? I have a lot to learn about you all. I hope I don't embarrass myself. Oh no, you'll do fine! Okay, so we need to get the broom, and we need uh, we sold off our levitation potion, so we need to do that. Hey, Mira, what's going on? Do make sure you eat. So many people faint in this heat every summer. Sorry if I made you uncomfortable before. If I'd known you were the last goblin... Nah, no need to get your gears out of joint. <laughs> you didn't know. <laughs> Ravenwood Hollow's nice and all, but it's more isolated than goblins like to be. We're a social people. <laughs> Over time, plenty of folks left for goblin outposts elsewhere. <laughs> Not me, though. Okay, so we're going to need to find ourselves a broom and go make another levitation potion. So many things to do. <laughs> so where would that broom have gotten off to here? Is there, there we go. It just happens to be one laying around. Thanks, Grandma. And then let's go and uh, collect our goodies here and get. Uh, we need, a, I think, just a basic levitation potion. Correct? Yeah. Okay, so we got a concentrated levitation potion. Uh, make a batch of flying potions. Bruise 15 doses at once. Look at that. Oh, that is nice. Oh my goodness. So, yeah, I guess we're going to be doing that, aren't we? I'm excited to learn uh, these other things. Crystal ball potion. What are we missing on that again? More red ink. Uh, I, I need to get more. 
the pigment here. How long is that going to take? Three hours remaining. Okay, and I will continue making some essences here. Oop. Hold up, and do I have any sunny days bell? Okay, so what else do I need? Uh, those white flowers look like... Is that Which flower is that? Molly flower, okay. I'm gonna need a few of those. Um, okay, so we can go and uh, uh, attend. <laughs> I wanted to say attack, approach. We can go uh, deal with the grief group. I think we also want to go and just check out what's happening. Oh, never mind. Hey, Sophia. I'm talk to her. I'm ready for it to be fall. It's peak pie season after all. Okay, so, you know, before long here, the mayor's his gate. Do we? Oh yeah, we already kind of chatted. It's uh, in circles around him. Out of here, pigeons. Come on. Get out of here. Skadoodle. I'm pleasantly surprised by Emmy and Finn's new entrepreneurial venture. If only they showed such drive in the classroom. Okay, so I'm guessing she's kind of waiting here. Just gonna hang out. Put up the vibe. Yeah, we're cool. We're cool. Oh, didn't mean to make her get up. Do I... Do I need to make a formal entry? There we go. Tara! Come in, come in. That smoothie looks delicious. Have some of the pie that Juliet brought. And popcorn from Sebastian. Violet, welcome. Thanks. Hey, bud. As I was saying, sometimes it can be helpful for us to confront the strength of our emotions. It makes us realize what actions we want to take and what those actions are. So, what did you think? <laughs> Being open with you all, it actually helped. Yeah, it's the weirdest thing. At first I couldn't take it seriously, but after a while I was like, sure, let's talk about feelings. Tonight I realized I want to do more. About my mom disappearing. Like, maybe I should still be looking for her. I don't know if that's what Vanessa meant. I gotta stop at home before going to the circle. See you soon, Tara. Good grief. Task complete. We were rewarded with pie and popcorn. <laughs> so what you always need after a bit of grief? Some pie and popcorn. Let's head out uh, quickly to the coven and see if anything's happening there. Yeah, we're going to be increasingly busy. Uh, I've got a peanut I need. Alright, let's gather flowers. So our magic bar is all filled, so we don't need to throw anything in, but I want to see if anything's going on. Right, okay, well, we'll go talk to the High Priestess. Cameron's influence troubles me. More and more people attend his services, which means he'll persuade them to believe that there are malcontents out to do harm to the community. We need more information. Novice, Acolyte, the time has come for both of you to learn shapeshifting. How do you feel about a feline spy mission? <laughs> yes! I see where you're going, and I like it! Feline... spy... mission? We'll learn how to turn into cats and then sneak into the consciousness center. How close is my guess? Telepathically close. Every witch learns from Ariel how to shapeshift themselves into animals, but they must wait until they're old enough not to misuse such power. I trust both of you to treat your animal hosts with kindness. Uh, what if I get stuck as a cat? 
Now, that would be funny. Ariel won't let you get stuck as a cat, I promise. Parker's mentioned more and more talk of rooting out the malcontents, and Cameron is often scribbling in this tiny little notebook of his. We need to know what it says. Visit Ravenwood Hollow for a transmogrification lesson. Then see if you can find an open door at the center to sneak through. This might be going too far. We could just get intel by attending this week's service. All of us showing up together? That would be too suspicious. Besides, we need that notebook. Hey, I'm not bothered by this. As long as we don't get caught. All right. Speak to Arya about how to shape. I loved how we've got all this like weird like moral compunction about not uh, causing any issues. Like really, <laughs> that was a funny feeling. We would be like, yeah, okay, cool. I'm in. Uh, you want me to turn into anything else? Uh, a bird, slide, a swing, a uh, bouquet of flowers, uh, a building, diamonds. I could do diamonds. No, nope. okay, just my cat. All right, fine. Fine. All right, well, we'll head out and talk to him because it's only nine. Definitely, there's there's gonna be some days here. I feel like where we're gonna get a lot of things uh, done in a day. Uh, boo, boo, boo. this way. So, you are to learn how to walk a mile in a cat's paws, are you? Yes! <laughs> Finally! I've been waiting for years! <laughs> I don't usually say this, but... Patience. Don't forget respect for the creatures allowing you to use their corporeal forms. What? I, I thought we were going to learn how to transform into cat form. Don't be ridiculous. No one can do that. But we can politely ask animals if we can ride along in their bodies for a while. Exactly. Grey Malkin and Cleocatra here are experienced with ride-alongs. <coughs> oh, of course, of course. Tara, Violet. It's time for you to ask permission. Grey Malkin, you are the noblest of felines. I would be grateful to walk with you. Is this some sort of joke? A, a, a hazing ritual or something? Friends, please excuse the manners of our newest member. Her speciesism is brought on by ignorance rather than malice. Now, I can sense the thoughts of our fine friends with gills and feathers and fur, but what makes you unique, dear witches? is that you can share their consciousness. Tara, Cleocatra must know she can trust you. Oh, okay. Uh, Cleocatra, can I, um, walk with you? She said, of course. Now, take these shape-shifting incantations. You'll need to cast them on your chosen cat. Okay, it casts an animal shape shift incantation on your familiar. That's your cat. Uh, presumably not right now, right? Uh, because we need. I don't know. Is, it, is this a thing we do now? Maybe. Holy hand sandwiches! It worked! I'm a cat! Not just any cat, but you're familiar. And she sees so much more than humans. Now off with you. Do your skulking. We need to head to the Consciousness Center. We've got to find out what's been happening there. Wait, you sound normal. That's wild. <laughs> it raises so many questions, but we got a scamper. There's no time to waste. Okay. Like that we can actually go like incredibly fast. That's cute. How adorable is that? Thank goodness it's not too late. I don't know if uh, does it like stop time for us here? It kinda seems like it does. It's 9.30 and it's kinda locked on 9.30 which is good. I know being a cat is bonkers, but come on, no dawdling. Alright, anything? Is there, uh... It's go time. 
we need to be totally silent. If they catch us in here, they might think we're just mousers keeping the center clean. Ew! But they're not gonna turn a blind eye if we start spouting the Queen's frickin' English. Cat's got my tongue. Got it. Notebook, notebook. Hmm. I wonder where it is. Here it is! And the presence of malcontent seems to be on the rise in our fair town. It's they who spread the pagan beliefs we saw at the summer festival. Whatever they may call themselves, their purpose is clear. To sow chaos and keep you from your true potential. That's a lie! Who is that? Find them! Huh? A disembodied voice! It has to be witches! Oh, I mean, uh, uh, malcontent! <gasps> Time to scram. Whew! Cleogatra is fast! That run barely took any effort. Glad you enjoyed it, cause I think the incantation is about to wear off. Man, human senses are nothing compared to cat senses. Whew, I know, right? Thank you, Grey Malkin. You're the best, Cleocatra. Uh, yeah. Now. Let's take a look at this journal. <sighs> we have a heck of a report to make to the coven at the next meeting. That's for sure. Okay. Oh, what did it say to do? Uh, speak to the high priestess and tell her what we uncovered. Okay, so that's gonna be next time, I'm guessing then. Vanessa seems kind of distant, but I know what's up with her now. She acts that way because she feels like she has to to keep going. There are times when I've felt that. Okay, there we go. So now that I've talked to her, I can talk to Lena. Tara, Violet, was your mission successful? <laughs> was it ever? Once Ariel taught us how to transmogrify, we practically waltzed into the center. Dragging that journal away in cat form wasn't easy, but we managed it. He started a heading for a list here, possible malcontents. No names on it yet, though. That confirms my suspicions. This isn't just idle talk. Thank you, you two. You were excellent. What can I say? We make formidable spies. And you've performed admirably in your shape-shifting abilities. You may now shape-shift responsibly into a cat familiar after creating shape-shifting incantations of your own. In cat form, you'll be able to utilize their swift reflexes to catch fish and other useful items. Also, while the cat is in control, your body can be resting, so it allows for more hours in the day. Well done, both of you. Wow, that is super cool. Okay, animal shape-shifting spell can now be crafted at the writing desk. Nifty. Okay, we're all potioned up. I don't think we have anybody to talk to. Oh, I can talk to her again. So the head of the Fairhaven Coven is my former babysitter, Lena? Don't say it. But no one can hear us out here, and you're not wearing your mask. It's the principle of the thing. Okay, so we, we don't want to be creepy out here. What did you think of Otto's speech, Shelby? I don't like it. I've seen this all before, even after the war. When there were troubles, whoever was in charge would point to us as the source of their problems. That's what they do. So their people don't notice their failure at managing things is the real reason. Okay, and I like that we can actually, like, buy some stuff from him. Even though it's, like, late. Okay, I don't need any mushrooms. Will we be seeing your familiar at the Coven Circle anytime soon? Nah, he's a beaver, so he doesn't come around here. But if you see any dams, make sure you shout, Good job, buddy! What about you, Adept? Is your familiar around here somewhere? Of course. She's a red fox that Ariel rescued from a trap a few years ago. She's a little skittish, but oh, I adore her. Okay, kitty. Let's, uh... Hi, kitty. Okay, and then we can choose to head back in that form. 
Cool. All right, well, let's get heading on home, I guess. So that was an incredibly busy uh, episode here. That was so much stuff that happened. So uh, in terms of what we have left here, we've got to bring that potion to uh, um, whatever the other place is called next time. And um, yeah, that's, <laughs> I have no idea. It seems like there's so much that's going to kind of open up or become pot like it's almost it's my brain is just swirling with the possibilities of stuff that we kind of have ready to happen here so it's it's exciting a little bit of time. Oh, it's empty. i'll need to brew some crystal ball potion in the cauldron okay so there we go we got our stuff got some time left on that um Yeah, I would say that this, like this, uh, we need this molly flower as it's going to really open up a lot of things. Um, and then the yeah, animal shifting spell. That's not bad at all. It, uh, cast on um, their familiar. Wow, okay. And do we have one of those with us? We have one already available. So I don't know that I want to make more of those right now. Um, Okay, that was... Oh, that... Yeah, you used up a few resources, didn't it? Uh, black ink. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, right. That'll do for now. I'm gonna have to go fill up our thing. Just trying to keep busy at doing all of that. All right, that was super Should busy, I and we will see you all next time. Till then, bye bye.